Bible says that his feet were bronze. Okay. Are, are bronze. That doesn't mean that he's white. It doesn't mean that he's Puerto Rican. It doesn't mean that he's black. It's just that was just the color because okay. he was from the dirt. Uh, Why do you guys think that he's black? All right, give me a second. So you didn't say me, right? Okay, so this is the thing, right? Our people have been indoctrinated with the philosophies of Babylon the Great. Right. Meaning we have been uh, conditioned and trained to a certain way of thinking, and we don't take the time to read the Bible for ourselves. So what I'm going to do is we're going to open up the scriptures, and we're going to let the Bible speak. Because Bible says prove all things, I, I, right? I, I, I want you to read where it says the word I got you. Black. I got you. It doesn't say Just black. hang on. There's many precepts. The Bible says precept upon precepts so we can get to understand it. Yes. Right. Revelation chapter Not 1 verse 1. Right, right, right. 2,000 years after the departure of Jesus the Christ. The prophets are back to teach the real Jews, the 12 tribes of Israel, their true nationality. This is their campaign. Shalom, this is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Godliness. We should be keeping the commandments. You should be adorning yourself in modest apparel, right. teaching your daughters the laws. We should be keeping the Sabbath day. We should put away these pagan holidays. That's we right. should be gathering together like the Most High told us to. Bring it up. That's what we should be doing, sis. Do you have a flyer? Sis, make sure you take a look at that flyer. We got an address on the back and everything. Take a look at that. Don't make, we need to make haste and turn to the Lord, sis. Okay. Soldier, this is my brother Sammy. He's Puerto Rican, right? What's going on, man? He How doesn't doing? believe Christ is black. He's, okay. a different, he's a light tone, but not black. Okay. He doesn't believe he's white either, but he want to know his true color. Okay. The, the, Bible says, yeah, yeah. the Bible says that, 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 that God's feet was bronze. Okay. doesn't mean that it was black. He's like a lighter, he's like a lighter brown. Right, right, right. His brother over here, God bless. You're welcome. Okay. All right. He's so like a darker, a darker All right, sis. The Bible says that his feet were bronze. Okay. Are, are bronze. That doesn't mean that he's white. It doesn't mean that he's Puerto Rican. It doesn't mean that he's black. It's just, that was just the color because he okay. was from the dirt. All right. Why do you guys think that he's black? All right. Give me a so you didn't say right? Okay, so this is the thing, right? Our people have been indoctrinated with the philosophies of Babylon the Great. Right. Meaning we have been uh, conditioned and trained to a certain way of thinking, and we don't take the time to read the Bible for ourselves. So what I'm going to do is we're going to open up the scriptures, okay. and we're going to let the Bible speak. Because the Bible says prove all things, I, I, right? I, I, I want you to read where it says the word I got you. Black. I got you. It doesn't say black. Just hang on. There's many precepts. The Bible says precept upon precept so we can get to understand it. That's Can we read Revelation chapter uh, 1 verse 1? Wait, wait, wait. wait Hold on. Wait. Read. Revelations. Chapter 1, verse 1. Bring it out. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Okay, so the, it says the revelation of Jesus Christ, or Jesus Christo, that you call him, right? So what is the root word to revelate? The, to reveal, right? So in order to reveal something, there's something that you see that you're going to reveal, right? Okay, read. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants the 
things which must certainly come to pass. So, John the Revelator, he had to write this stuff down, everything that he's seen. Go to verse 14, we're gonna get to your point. Verse 14, his head and his hairs were white like wool. So what? It says his head and his hairs were white like wool, right? So you see that sign on the outside, right? We're gonna play a little baseball, right? So the Bible says that Christ had, with his head and his hairs were white and woolly in texture. That's the image that they push right there on the end. So by the Bible, yeah, that's wrong. That, that's no, wrong. That's so we know that. That's wrong. That's yeah, a lie. Yeah, so yeah. I, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, all praises. Three as white as snow. Okay. And his eyes, like and his eyes, were as a flame of fire. Okay, so Christ's eyes was a flame of fire because in Genesis 49 it was prophesied. It says I shall be bread and wine. Christ actually drank wine, right? Read. And his feet. Okay, so this is where we at. And his feet. Now, your feet is the same color as the rest of your body, right? Yeah, yeah. It's just common sense. Okay, read. And his feet, like unto fine brass. Fine brass, fine brass. Now, what's brass? All right, I'm going to ask you, what's brass? You, what, what's your I got you. I'm, I'm going to ask you, what's brass? It's like, it's like golden. It's like golden, right? Like, it's like a penny, it's like, right? It's like a golden. Right? Brown. Which is a derivative of brown, right? But, but it's not black. Let's see what the Bible says, because that's the problem with the Christian church. No, no, no. And they stop right there. The scriptures are going to expound a little more. Let's Bring it see out, what the color of Christ was. Read. And his feet, like a defined brass, as if they burned in a furnace. Wow. So the scripture says that he was so dark that it was fine brass as if it burned in a furnace. Dark. Hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, bro. Just just, no, let's, let's use common sense. Add stuff to the Bible, though. Bruh, real quick, if, if you take a penny, right, a penny is, is brass, right, if you take a penny and you burn it in a furnace, what color is it going to be? If you take a grain of rice and burn it in a furnace, what color is it going to be? It's going to be dark. Go to, uh, give me Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 2. Just the thing, that's why we got to read precept upon precept. It clearly says that burned in a furnace as if it was burned in a furnace, right? So let's see what the color of the other prophets were as well. Jeremiah 14 and 2. Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 2. Hallelujah. Judah mourneth. So it says Judah mourneth, right? Yeah. Judah is actually the tribe that Christ sprang from, right? Read. And the gates thereof languish. The gates languish. There was no leadership. Uh, uh, you know, going into captivity, we didn't have the leadership that we needed. The gates were in language. Read. They are black. They are light. They are black. They are what? They are black. The scripture says that Judah, they're black. Jesus Christ sprang from Judah, right? That's right. Bring it out. Hebrews chapter 7. Give me Hebrews chapter 7. Bring it out. Christ came from the tribe of Judah, right? It doesn't say he's from the black, though. Bro, you got to open up your mind, bro. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. He sprang out of what? Out of Judah. Judah! Go back to Jeremiah 14 and 2. He's, he, Christ sprang out of Judah, right? Read. Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof language. Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof language. Read. They are black. They are white. They are black. They are light. They are black. They are black. Christ was a black man. That's right. He was not a white man. Christ was not a light skinned man. He was very dark in color. Give me Genesis chapter 2 verse 7. Adam, our forefather, he was actually a black man. Let's, let's go precept upon precept. Read. Genesis chapter 2 verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. Of the dust of the ground. Of the dust of the ground. So. You tell me. The dust of the ground is brown, and the, 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 the deeper you dig, the darker it gets. That's common sense, bro. The deeper you dig, the darker the soil gets. That's right. The dust, the dust, the dust is about that color. And so, you, so what color is mud? When you keep digging, it gets darker, right? Give me Job 30 and 30. Bring it out! I'm going to just go through all the precepts that show that the greatest people on the face of the earth, they're black. The black Hispanics and the Native Americans, we are the greatest people on the face of the earth. That's right! It's important to know the color of Christ. Right. Because... Yes, sir. See. Bring it out, what? Soil. Dirt. See? 
It's dark, my brother. What's wrong with that? We all, we all came. I'm not saying we came from the I'm saying we came from the as if it burns in the furnace. But the word burn doesn't mean that it's a So if you burn something, what color does it turn, bro? It doesn't mean that it's black. Give me Job 30 30. You're playing semantics, bro. Job chapter 30, verse 30. My skin is black upon me. My skin is light upon me. My skin is black upon me. My skin is black upon him. This is the prophet Job speaking. When you go precept upon precept, you're going to realize that the prophets in the Bible were so-called black men. That's and right! And walking around right now, they were calling him a Negro. They were calling him a Negro. He actually died of black man's death. Yes. But let me, let me tell you something real quick. You, what tribe are you from? What, um, what's your nationality? I want to read the Bible. The Bible says that we're all one of our blood. Give me 1 Maccabees chapter uh, 3 verse 43. Look, we're not out here to play games. We're not out here to uh, to, to, to strive. We're out here to wake the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans up. Right. Because we're in a lower state. So this is what we're out here for. Listen to this, bro. 1 Maccabees chapter 3 verse 43. Read. They said one to another. Let us restore the decayed estate of our people. So the reason we're out here, bro, is to restore, to bring back to life. What's your question, bro? That's not the Bible. That is the Bible. The Bible is not the Bible. This is the Apocrypha. You know what the Apocrypha means? You, know, you, you, you don't have respect right now. You have to the Bible. Hey, bro, let me ask you something. Do you know what the Apocrypha means? Apocrypha means hidden books. In the 1800s, bro, listen, 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 listen. Hey, bro, I'm about, to, I'm about to show you something real quick. Go to John chapter 10, verse 22. Bring it out! I'm going to show you something. In the 1800s, hold on, hold on, humble yourself, bro. If you want to teach, there's a corner down the street. This is our form. We come here to teach our people. Right. So you got to humble yourself, bro. We're not debating, right? I'm not debating with you. I'm trying to wake up my people. John chapter 10, verse 22. In the 1800s, the Protestant church took the apocrypha out because it was going against the doctrine they wanted to teach. Let me ask you something real quick. You know the book of Malachi, right? When you go from Malachi to Matthew, right? Malachi was during the what? The Persian Mede captivity, right? When you go to Malachi, that is the Roman captivity. Who came into power before Rome? Who came into power before Rome? The Greeks. That's the history that's missing. They took it out. The That's what you don't understand, bro. John 10, verse 22. John chapter 10, verse 22. And it was at Jerusalem, the feast of dedication. We're going to read this real quick for you. Apocrypha. The Apocrypha is a selection of books which were published in the original 1611 King James Bible. Bring it out. Was a part of the original 1611 King James Bible. Not this new stuff that's come out now. Read. These apocryphal books were positioned between the Old and New Testament. And also contain maps and genealogies. Listen, bro. The apocrypha was a part of the KJV for 274 years until being removed. In 1885, it says the apocrypha was removed in 1885. Why do you think they did that? Why did they have to remove it, bro? So you wouldn't know your history. So you wouldn't know the Greek history. You wouldn't know the understanding between Jew and Greek. That's the reason they did that. Give me Jeremiah chapter 36. Jeremiah chapter 36, verse 17. And they asked Baruch, say, Okay, let me ask you something, right? So you're saying the Apocrypha is not part of the Bible, right? I didn't say that. To bring back to life, what's your question, bro? That's not the Bible. That is the Bible. The Red, the Red Book is not the Bible. This is the Apocrypha. You know what the Apocrypha means? It's not, you, know, you, you don't have respect right now. Yeah, yeah. I just said it. You said it's not the Holy Bible, right? If you're going to read off of something, you don't have All right, listen, just listen. I got you, bro. I got, I got you. So we're in the book of Jeremiah right now, right? Jeremiah, right? Listen, Jeremiah 36, 17. Listen, listen close. And they asked Baruch, saying, Tell us now, how didst thou write all these words at his mouth? Who is Baruch? I don't know. You don't know? Alright, that's a humble answer. Read. Then Baruch answered, then, he, then Baruch answered them, He pronounced all these words unto me with his mouth, and I wrote them with ink in the book. Okay, so what book did Baruch write out of the mouth of Jeremiah? Bring it out! You're on. Go to Baruch. This is the book of Baruch. 
the book of Baruch. Bring it out. The book of Baruch. Read chapter 1, verse 1. And these are the words of the book, which Baruch, the son of Darius, the son of Messiah, the son of Sedatius, the son of Asadias, the son of Josias, wrote in Babylon. These are the words that Jeremiah was speaking in Jeremiah chapter 36. How do we know who Baruch was if we didn't have this book? That's why I'm telling you, this book was all one prior to the 1800s. They took it out because they wanted to deceive the very elect, as the scripture said. Brother, you've been deceived, bro. I respect everything that you like to do. Give me Hosea chapter 1 verse 10. I'm going to read something for you real quick, bro. Listen up real quick, bro. Hosea 1 and 10. Hosea chapter 1 verse 10. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. So the number of the children of Israel, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the sand of the sea. You can't measure the sand of the sea. We're actually the majority, but they say that we're the minority. We, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people. So in the same place where it was said, Sandy, you were Puerto Rican, you were Dominican, you were black, you were nigger, right? We. There it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living God. We are the sons of the living God. Yes. We're not Puerto Rican. Right. We're not Dominican. Not we're not black. I see we it. are the Israelites. Yes. That's yes. what we're trying to get through your head, bro. We all are. We all are. Who, who all are? Who? Everybody is. Everybody's Israelites? Okay, give me a uh, give me give me second answers. Okay, you're right, you're right, you're right. But this is the thing, though. this is the misconception. That's... No, 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 hold on. Hold, no, real quick, bro. Because you said something heavy. You said we all came from Adam, right? So let's see what the Bible says about that. Read. Second Esdras, chapter 6, verse 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest lord of all thy creatures. Okay, so God made Adam lord of all the creatures, right? That's what you said. Read. Of him come we all. Of him, we all come from Adam, right? That's what you said. Okay, let's see what the Bible says. And the people also, whom thou hast chosen. He said, and the people, whom thou hast chosen. So God has a specific people that he chose above everybody else. Read. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou made the world for our sake. So the world was made for the Israelites' sake, right? Read. As for the other people. As for the other people, which also come of Adam. So the other nations that come from Adam, let's see what, how God feels about them. Thou hast said that they are nothing. Hold that. It says that they are what? That they are nothing. Right. Sorry, my brother Sandy, but contrary to popular belief, the other nations are nothing. That's right. They are below us. Right. We are the greatest people on the face of the earth. That's and until right. we realize that, we're going to remain at the bottom. Right. We, but be like a to spittle. But be like a to spittle. You know what spittle is? You flip, you cough it up, you spit it on the ground. That's how God feels about the other nation. Right. We, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falls from a vessel. So God is comparing the other nations as a drop that falls from a vessel. When you got a bottle of water, right, and you're walking outside and a little bit of water falls on the ground, do you care about that? No. That's the other nations that God is talking about. Wait, 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 wait. You're saying, you're saying God doesn't care about the other nation. The Bible says that. The Bible says that. Go to Isaiah 40. It's 41, right? Hey, hey, real quick. Isaiah 40. Isaiah 40. Nah, 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 nah. It said the same thing in Isaiah. Bro, just listen, bro. Nah. This is the thing. We're out here for you. Isn't God love? Isn't about God love? I got you. I got you. That's a good question. Listen to this, man. Listen to this. Hey, hey, bro. Isaiah. Don't ask a question and then walk away. Stay away. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 15. Behold, the nations are as a job. Hold on, it says the who? The, the nations are what? The nations are as a drop of a bucket. It says the nations are as a drop of a bucket. Where's the book of Isaiah right show, now, Sam? Show, show. Where's the book of Isaiah? Show them. This is the thing. They're not teaching this in the Christian church because they want you at the bottom. Once we realize who we are, we repent and keep the commandments in the faith of Christ, this world is going to go up in flames and we're going to be the next ruling kingdom. That's right. This is Isaiah. Keep reading. Behold. The nations are in the drop of a bucket and are counted as the small dust of the balance. It says they're the dust off the balance. Just a little dust. That's all the other nations are. 
Read go to Deuteronomy 7 and 6. This is what I want you to understand, Sammy. Read Deuteronomy 7 and 6. You see this sign right here? You see the 12 tribes? You will be from the tribe of Ephraim. Finish, finish that scripture. Isaiah 40, 17. All nations before him are as nothing. All nations before the Most High God that are outside the children of Israel, they are nothing. That's what the Bible says, bro. And we're in the book of Isaiah. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.